Okay, hello viewers. Uh, this is a, a quick guide. Um, it's the world's easiest guide to getting Safari up and running, and I've turned it into a video, or I hope to. So uh, the link should be, I will put it in the description. And as you can see, it says, hello and welcome reader, uh, Blendo and uh, la la. Three minutes, you know, just three minutes to uh, get you into Safari, which is an old software and it's hard to use and so on, blah, blah. Now you just get Safari here, you know, click here and you should go to a Mediafire cloud site, web storage. You see this here, blue button, download. It's just eight megabytes. So you just click that and close this ad. In fact, just use Firefox, you know, and then you can open that, save it. I don't want to. Um, Oh, there's an ad here too, annoying. Anyway, um, and uh, let me just full screen that again. Yeah, so uh, once you get that in your download folder, well, you just open it up, you unzip it as it says here, you execute it, that should only take one minute. Uh, then you it'll, it'll just automatically install it to this directory here. I forgot to mention, there is of course the issue that when you get the Safari here, it's a RAR file, see, .rar. And so if you don't have 7-zip or the RAR, whatever, WinRAR, whatever it's called, um, then where'd you get 7-zip? You go to 7-zip.org, um, you download 64-bit Windows or whatever. Um, small download, it's very handy. But if you don't want it, you can use WinRAR or any other software that supports the RAR file. So that's the um, bottleneck here. Uh, wait, here, yeah. Otherwise, we could get a lot more people to... And the old installer needs a bit of uh, technical expertise to uh, handle. You might not have it. You might not even be able to open a RAR file, in which case maybe uh, you're not suited to playing this, but just in case. It so uh, yeah, so once you get it in this directory, you it, it'll just finish and then you have to go get the launcher here. So you click that and it should go to a drive, Google Drive uh, page. And then how to download it? Well, you click that, don't you? and you go to another page, which and then you click OK or whatever it is, or Chrome just installs it automatically. Um, what's inside? Well, you just wait for this to show up. <clears throat> it's an executable, uh, just a few kilobytes. And it's for multi-user functionality. If you want to know more, there's this link here from the original creator. And the second step is done. Um, I have, let's see, where is my, uh, oh, but of course, mine is here. <clears throat> um, here's my launcher here, and these are just a few shortcuts that I would use more often than these ones here. Well, I forgot how these shortcuts got installed, but hopefully you get those too. And the third step is you type your nickname in and you copy and paste the chosen server IP out of those listed below, which means you execute that, allow it to have administrative pr privileges and change your nickname if it's user or whatever else or your computer username, uh, you change the IP, right? So it should be some VRML dot something Sony dot JP, whatever. You change that into this stuff. You copy and paste this stuff, right? Yeah. And um, uh, where is it now? Oh yeah. So if it's park, yeah, you wanna, you wanna change it. And then you want to uh, OK that. And then you're in. So I'm just alone right now. And the launcher just closes automatically. So um, that should take another minute. Um, I do recommend you use Millennium 
high grade park in downtown for this server and Millennium Coast or the other coast for the Meccano Pixel server. Now, um, for example, I've got four here and they've all got the IP addresses saved in the text file. So it's fairly straightforward to enter. This is the old coast. Um, yeah, and then you've got your downtown, which is for the, you go behind the waterfall in park. And then you've got the Millennium Coast, which is connected to the Meccano. And now that I've connected four or something, you then, yeah, so you choose the world and press okay. That's very simple. You then visit that if you want. And as you can see, I two of two, I am online. You can check who's online, see? It's great, just great. Uh, for a real-time view of list of users, uh, yeah. Here are a couple of stupid things. Have a stroll, have a chit chat. And the Safari, um, how it sounds similar to Safari Park with animals and how it's just three steps. And that doesn't make sense. You play with the whole world or alone. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Uh, yeah. Now, how do I end this?